here we have some shredded printed circuit boards and we're weighing out a small amount of material here so we can prepare for a lab scale trial for the separation of the surface mounted components from the boards themselves. This is one step in a larger process that makes it possible to recover precious metals from e-waste. If you'd like to know more about e-waste, there's more information in the description. Now, typically, we feed material into the kiln with a motorized feed screw, but in this instance, the circuit boards proved difficult to feed, so we improvised a hand-operated plunger mechanism to feed the material in. So we have a number of probes in the kiln to monitor the process temperature. Uh, the key one being the internal tube temperature, which is the bottom left hand side of your screen, currently at 273 degrees. Now the material moves along the tube uh, for a set period of time, at which point then it's discharged. So here we're discharging the material from the tube. and we're collecting it to examine it and see if we got the results we wanted. And here's the resulting material from the trial. So the goal was to separate the surface mounted components from the board and as you'll see here as the material is spread out, uh, the trial was successful. You can see the boards are charred from the heat, but also that there's a lot of small tiny components and kernels of solder uh, in amongst the boards.